color the blocks. Color hundreds, tens, and ones to show each number. The first thing we're going to do is look at the numbers that we have. These numbers on the left are numbers that are in standard form. All of the blocks, the place value blocks, are hundreds, tens, and ones. Those show our base 10 blocks. We have hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's sing our hundreds, tens, and ones song. Okay? Hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. When we look at our numbers, we read from left to right. When we are looking at our numbers, we read from left to right too. We have to start at the highest place value. Let's divide these. We have our hundreds place, our tens place, and our ones place. Here it says I should color in three groups of 100. There's 100, 200, 300. Notice the last few times I was doing it, I just wrote 100, 100, 100. But I decided this time I would count them so I didn't have to recount them. Now I see that my total value of the hundreds place is 300. The next place I need to look at is the tens place. There are four tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. This time I wrote counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. I have a value of 40 for my tens. For my ones place, I have three ones. One one, two ones, three ones. So I have a total value of three. Now, to write expanded form. Remember, expanded form is telling you to write the value of the hundreds place plus the value of the tens place plus the value of the ones place. So we have how many groups of 100? We have three. What is that value? 300. So we have 300 plus the value of the tens place. We have four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 300 plus 40, plus the value of the ones place, three. If we write three plus four plus three, we would get three plus three is six, six and four more equals 10. Is 10 the number we have over here? No, that's why it's really important that you look at the value of how many hundreds how many tens and how many ones and how much that adds up to. The next number we have is 286 in standard form. We have two groups of 100. We have eight groups of 10 and six groups of ones. So I'm going to count up to the value of 200. 100, 200. That's the value of the hundreds place. Eight tens. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight tens. This time I'm going to write it counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So the value of my tens place is 80. 
the value of my hundreds is 200. Now I need six ones. One, one, I'm going to circle six ones. Six. So to write that in expanded form, remember you're writing the value of the hundreds place, which is 200 plus the value of the tens place, which is 80, not eight, but 80, and the value of the ones place, which is six. The next number I have is the number 197. The number 197 has a hundred. That one's not a good line. Hundreds place, tens place, and ones. So I'm going to label one group of 100. How many tens do I have? Nine tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens. So I have nine tens. What's the value of nine tens? Let's count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So the value is 90 for my tens place. I'm going to write nine, zero. That's the value of my tens place. The value of the hundreds place is 100. The value of my tens place is 90. And how many ones do I have? Seven. I'm going to circle seven ones. Now, to write that in expanded form, I write the value of the hundreds place, which is 100, plus the value of the tens place, which is 90, plus the value of the ones place, which is seven. 100 plus 90 plus seven. Remember, you're not going to write one plus nine plus seven. One plus nine is 10, 10 plus seven is 17. Is 17 the same as 197? No, that's why you're writing the value of each digit. The next number I have is 651. You can see that I have six in the tens, hundreds place, five in the one, tens place, and one in the ones place. I have six groups of 100, 100, 200, let me get a bigger marker, 300, 400, 500, 600. So the value of the hundreds place has a value of 600. Then I look to my tens place. There are five tens. 10, two, three, four, five. So I have five tens. Let's count by tens to see the value. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So the value of my tens place is 50. 50 plus the value of the ones place. There's one one. So I'm going to write 600 plus 50 plus one, 600 plus 50 plus one. 